What is going on ladies and genitals, Yodi Slay here bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. Welcome to day 8 of Jug June where I'm trying to bring you an assault jug every single day of June. Today I have a domination game here on Resistance using something other, you know, everybody was telling me to quit using the same gun, stuff like that. So last night I actually finally got on Modern Warfare 3, played a lot of games, I got about 10 games recorded uh, with different guns, the PP90, the MP5, the L86 and stuff that you've never really seen on my channel. And I had a lot of fun doing it. This was actually the last game of the night and I wasn't going to post this uh, because of this death streak that I go on here at the beginning. Um, like I said, it was the last game of the night. I was not really being too serious this game at all, but it ended up turning into somewhat a decent game, I guess. I don't know. I died like, I don't know, seven times or something. I don't know. Once I get on my streak, I don't die at all. Uh, so all my deaths were right here in this beginning part sped up, you know, just, I was trying to use the javelin only. You can see that I'm just shooting the javelin like crazy. We were actually in a game a couple games before this where dudes just kept rocketing the shit out of us and it got really annoying. But I want you guys to check this out right here. You know, you see me shoot all those javelins, it was sped up so you couldn't really check out my javelin skills. So I, I slow it down right here because I want you to see how epic and precise I am with javelins. Like... I had never really used javelins until last night, but I gotta say, I'm pretty awesome with them. You know, I can place them anywhere, like, I mean, bam, right in the corner. If you got Stalker Pro, you can just move out, but I want you guys to check this shit out right here. Back up a little bit. Maybe I should have stood up where I, where I was at the beginning. I don't really know. But that was kind of the stuff that I cut out for you guys, but it is slowed down, so you know what that means. We are on our streak. But today, I want to talk about something that I actually have talked about. Well, I haven't really ever, I don't think I've ever told the whole story, but I have brought it up in commentaries asking if you guys wanted to hear about the time that I slid through cow shit. Yes, you heard right. Cow patooker. Whatever that is. Cow poop. I don't know what patooker is. Uh, but anyways, before we get into this story... I want to thank you guys for the support you gave me yesterday while I was like down all day because of my dream. It wasn't really as bad. For, you know, I wasn't up like all depressed all day about it. It was just kind of like when I was telling you guys that I kind of got caught up in telling the story about my little boy because it is touchy. But believe me, I wasn't like all dwelling and drinking whiskey all day upset. I truly wasn't. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, so, but thank you guys for the support, man. I know you guys got my back. And yes, I do. I do feel comfortable enough, to, you know talking to you guys about personal stuff like that. Um, so, you know, that just shows you that we appreciate each other. You guys got my back, and I trust you enough to go that deep with things. Um, but before we get into the story, um, I do not condone of underage drinking or drinking and driving for this matter. But it does. The story does consist of both. I was in high school. Everybody does stupid stuff. You live, you learn, you make mistakes. And just fortunate for us, the only one that there was no cows harmed in the making of this story or the happening of it or anything like that so what it is is it was right after me and my ex-wife first got together you know we're just like banging every day and stuff like that you know how it is when you first get together it's like five six times a day you know you just pull over on the side of the road and go go to town in a walmart parking lot and stuff like that on that church uh, did I just go there? Yeah. Uh, but anyways, you know, we just got together and we actually had my buddy Chris with us and we're, you know, we, we lived in the country. I lived in the country, uh, once I, like from my junior year on before then we lived in the outskirts of the city, but in a subdivision, but when on my, like, actually it wasn't even there as my sophomore year, my sophomore year, we moved out to like BFE, seriously, like BFE, the closest house besides the one that was like 500 yards away was over a mile away. I mean, we were at BFE. And, you know, on weekends, stuff like that, we just get, you know, get us a couple beers. You know, we're all, we're underage, we're in high school, so we can't just go to the liquor store and just, like, fill the fucking cab of the truck up with beer. But, you know, we had our ways, and we got a couple beers. We're just driving around the country, having a good old time, and we're driving down the road, and there's this cow. Like, he's right next to the road, you know. Cows don't have, the only thing holding a cow back is a little bitty piece of wire that's an electrical fence. How the hell that holds a one-ton animal back? Yeah, it shocks him. But if it wanted to, it could easily get over it. But we're driving down the road, and there's a cow. He's got his head over this wire eating the grass on the side of the road. And, you know, we're kind of buzzed a little bit. I'm like, dude, I'm so going to run at that fucking cow and hit him, like, you know, because I played football and shit. I'm like, I'm just going to fucking hit this cow and knock him on his ass. That was the intentions. 
So I pull over and I shine my headlights on him. It's like two in the morning. I shine my headlights on this cow and I get out of the truck. Well, when the cow, uh, you know, when the truck is stopped, the headlights are on him. He's starting to back up. So I'm like, motherfucker, I'm going to do it anyways. So I start running from the truck. I start running like full blast, dude. And I'm just going to stick this cow. Little too, you know, I'm buzzed. I forgot about the little fucking fence right there, the little wire. So I'm running. At the last second, I see the wire, so I do like a hurdle over the top of this wire, which was a pretty legit hurdle other than the fact that my foot kind of caught the water. I didn't get, or the wire. I didn't get shocked or anything, but it was one of those things where it took my feet out enough to where I knew that I was falling. Have you ever had one of those, like, trips or falls where your momentum is just slowly going forward and you know you're about to fucking fall? Or trip, whatever you want to call it. You know, you've done it. You're running full blast and you, you start to go forward and you can't stop. You're going down. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going down. I'm just going to slide. So I put my hands out and I, you know, I was just going to slide on my stomach like in baseball. So I put my hands out and I slide. And at the end of my slide, I'm like, damn, that slide was a lot smoother than I expected. So I stand up feeling soaking wet. Little do I know. That I just slid through one hell of a slip and slide, and that was in the fucking cow shit. Yes, I I mean, fresh cow shit. I'm talking, I had like green all down, like from my fucking collarbones to my knees. It was just like fresh green cow shit with like, hay, like grass sticking out of it and stuff. Dude, it looked like I had like a green hairy chest, but it was just on top of my shirt. And, you know, I, I, I'm laughing a little bit, but it's not near as funny as what fucking Tisha and my buddy Chris were. They were just rolling, so they didn't find it funny they had to ride with me all the way home. Smelling like cow shit, but I did take my shirt off and throw it in the bed of the truck. And I actually took my pants off, so I rode home just in my underwear. You know, it's all good. She, you know, she's seen me butt-ass naked so many times before. And, you know, he's a dude, so he ain't going to be looking anyways. But I was in my underwear. I wasn't, like, riding butt-ass naked or nothing. Uh, but that is the story of me sliding through cow shit. I, I slid probably, like, ten fucking yards through cow shit, too. I mean, I was totally kind of, like, I somewhat acknowledged when I went down to slide that I might slide across, like, a big-ass rock. Or something like that. Never even crossed my mind to be cow shit. But it did cushion my fall. And it did make it a very... Um, very smooth slide, a very smooth sell as I slid across that green cow shit. Uh, but there you guys go. That is the story of me sliding through cow shit. If you want to, you know, hear any more stories about my life or my crazy shiz, just let me know in the comments, but I hope you enjoyed that gameplay. I ended up going 48 and 7, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to rate and subscribe. Hello.